Hey crafters, Steven here with Maker Flow Crafts. We're super excited to announce that we're going to be releasing the Frost Buddy, which is a universal beverage holder. Hi guys, welcome to Maker Flow Crafts. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to sublimate one of these. We're super excited about these right here. Basically you just take the top off, it has this little insert right here so you can fit the smaller cans and stuff in it. Um, but today we're just going to sublimate this item right here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap our tumbler. Um, right here I have my design. Basically how I got my design is I, with these tumblers right here, it does have a little bit of a taper on them. So I did cut my design to fit that taper a little, top, little bigger on the bottom than it is on, or a little bigger on top than it is on the bottom. And uh, has a little bit of a curve to it as well. With this design right here, I did, uh, it does have some writing on it, so I did mirror my image. So that way, as I lay it on the cup, it'll show up the correct way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap my design and uh, show you guys how I tape it. So right here, the writing that goes up top is up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it around the cup. As you see, it's gonna line up perfectly right here to accommodate the, uh, the taper that we have on this cup. I'm gonna make sure that the bottoms of my cup are even. Um, the reason why is because we want to make sure that the bottom line is not uneven because it will show up in your image if it is. All right, so now that I got this done, now I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape. Right here, I'm gonna just go ahead and put a piece of tape right here. What this is doing is it's holding my seam so I can get a nice tight design on my seam. Right here I have my seam, um, my three pieces of tape that I went ahead and put on the seam to hold the design nice and tight onto the Frost Buddy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap a piece of tape on the top and the bottom. By doing that, I'm just gonna go like this, give it a little bit of pressure with my thumb. Try to get it as close to the bottom as you possibly can to the edge of the paper. Same thing around the top. It'll look like that when you guys are done with it. All the way around, I have it nice and tight on there so that way we don't get any ghosting and stuff like that. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of tape all the way down the seam. Doing that, I'm gonna go right here, come all the way down, still putting pressure with my thumb. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that tape on there. Just like that. And then the last step is I'm gonna go ahead and put another piece of tape on the top and the bottom. But this time, 
I'm going to let the tape hang over the top and underneath the bottom so I can fold it over and underneath. Still applying pressure with my thumb. I'm just going to go ahead and hold that under with my fingers to keep the tape down. And same thing up here. I want to make sure that the heat doesn't get in between the sublimation paper and the frost buddy. So it's going to look like this. And now it's ready to go into the oven. All right, now that we have this wrapped, we already have our oven preheated at 375 for seven minutes. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven and wait for it to finish. Now that our timer's gone off, we're gonna go ahead and take it out. I'm gonna show you guys how I unwrap these. Make sure that you have your heat resistant gloves on. Um, you don't wanna burn yourself, it will come out at roughly 375 degrees. come up with here. Looks good to me. Right here we have our fully sublimated cup. Tape all over myself. It's ready to go. Hey guys, I forgot to mention too, uh, on the bottom you'll see a rubber bottom of this uh, Frost Buddy. Uh, just so you guys know, that is completely safe to put in the oven and uh, it will not melt. And that's pretty much it guys. Uh, that'll wrap us up for today's video. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. Literally, you just slide the insert back in, screw on the lid, quarter turn, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe and we'll be coming out with a new video soon.